Goose down mini dresses, slogan nails and bullet shaped bras. Here were the best moments of Paris Fashion Week. The most notable news to begin with. Ray Korogubo sent black models down Comme des Garçons runway for the first time in 20 years. Four of the 16 models who walked in the autumn 2018 show were black, with two earning the highly coveted opening and closing spots. No doubt the show of diversity should be applauded, but we would have liked to see fairer representation at Koa Gubo's notable brand much before this week. Stella McCartney once again paved the way for ethical, sustainable fashion. This season's invitations were sent out via branded socks in white envelopes, bearing the message, I'm 100% compostable and so are you. The Stella socks, as the brand disclosed on Twitter, were manufactured using zero water, chemicals, dyes or pesticides, and were made with 85% upcycled yarn in collaboration with Osman awesome Brand. Just in case the double coating of last season wasn't enough, Balenciaga brought us three coats layered on top of each other to voluminous effect. Welcome to Triple Coating, the most stylish way to stay warm next season. Talking of layering, Ray Korokubo's Comme de Garçons looks were a full celebration of pile-a-ton dressing. Frills, lace and ribbons were stacked on underneath oversized ruffled and padded structured jackets and quilted hoods. Footwear was layered high too. Platform Cortez Nike trainers were given the Comme de Garçon treatment, stacked high in black and white bold stripes. Slogans made their way from t-shirts to nails, as seen at Vivian Westwood. Created by Marion Newman using CND, models had words like gay, sex, extra, extra, extra large, and the designer's own name painted on their fingernails. So for those interested in slashing feminist agendas, political messages, or something a little more tongue-in-cheek across their bodies, nails are the place to do it. You heard it here first. For those who need a little risque injected into their life, Ricci dresses were giving a bullet bra makeover. But of course, this is Paris Fashion Week, and there was more than one piece of out there underwear. Jonathan Anderson showed bras outside of dresses at low, via gingham midi dresses with white silk bras stuck on top. There were bustiers and thigh highs are off-white, and at Chloe, white lace bras peeped out from underneath turtlenecks. Claire Waite Keller made a case for fringing at Givenchy, Tassel-trimmed tunics and lacy dresses were key players in the collection, but all blown away by the most Instagram look of the show, a shimmering silver dress with a fringed top. Just in case you hadn't seen enough cowboy boots this season, Alessandra Riche went and blew them all away with a pair of satin high-heeled versions, which, by all accounts, won the accessory of the week. It was a Dolly Parton tribute of the chicest kind. And speaking of Miss Parton, the Isabel Morant crew stomped down the runway to her vocals, and never has there been a more apt soundtrack for Morant's collection of metal toe cap thigh highs, fringed ankle boots, and denim shirting. Cowboys of every stripe have officially taken over the fashion landscape. Cowboy themed pieces weren't riding solo in the takeover though. Those Chanel plastic bucket hats from last season's catwalk were on the heads of every Parisian street style star worth her salt, having already been spotted in New York, London and Milan. Street style favourites Eva Chen and Tamu McPherson both donned theirs during the week. Waterproofing, as it seems, is really having its moment. Virgil Abloh sent a long hooded waterproof cape down his runway that caused quite the stir on Instagram. Other than the chicest poncho possible, the off-white collection focused on remixing an equestrian aesthetic with Abloh's take on riding boots and jodhpurs. Rick Owens did what he does best by bringing the avant-garde to Paris's runways. His models wore piled wool blankets stuffed with goose down as mini dresses, paired with bare legs and sneakers, naturally. A genius answer to staying in bed all day or head-scratchingly weird, we're not sure. Over at Marlbury, the aesthetic couldn't have been further from Duvet Day. Creative director Johnny Coker went full Queen of England for his new collection. Impulsive, playful, it's an unexpected and distinctly British breed of beauty, he said of the collection. The highlights? Ruffled polka dot blouses, fur trim gloves and miniature handbags in bright hues and floral smock dresses with matching wide brim hats. 
And then there was a show to close all shows. Karl Lagerfeld came through with a spectacular autumnal fashion forest, complete with real trees and a leaf-coloured catwalk. Instagram went wild over the backdrop, which played perfectly against the Chanel collection of tweedy skirt suits, quilted trousers, gold above-the-knee boots and black evening dresses. It was a Midsummer Night's Dream Marvel come to life and provided the most perfect palatial show to close not just Paris Fashion Week, but the entire Fashion Month. With Fashion Month finally wrapped up, that's all for now, but stay tuned for all the latest fashion news and updates right here on Fashion Industry Podcast.